give them back to me. What did you have in mind, Francie? Give them back to me, Mother's jewels. I don't have them. Wait a minute. No, no, no. When did it happen? When I was asleep. Well, let's look. There's only one place to look, and that's obviously here. Help yourself. Did you see Francie? Did she tell you what happened? Yes, she's downstairs searching my room. Well, that doesn't make sense. She said she knew where my jewelry was. Well, she was wrong. May I look into your bedroom? If you think it'll do any good. But don't you think we ought to call the police and the hotel manager? You know, they always like to get in on these things. Yes, but would you let me look around first, Mrs. Stevens? I don't care. I'd be just as happy if you didn't find anything. Why do you say that? Oh, I'm a little tired of draping those things over me. It was exciting at first, but you know, now I think it's more exciting to have them stolen. Yes, and of course, you can't lose financially as long as Houston is around to make out the check. Well, I'd be crazy to take this attitude if I did. On earth did Francie suspect you, Mr. Burns? A simple woodcutter from Oregon. I'm anything but that, Mrs. Stevens. My real name is John Roby. I used to be a jewel thief several years ago. Well, what a wonderful surprise. But somehow I can't get worked up over it. Where did you keep the stuff? Uh, in the case over there. Oh. Watch out for fingerprints. There won't be any. Did they get everything? Everything. Uh, Fancy must have known about you all along. She guessed today. You must sleep soundly. I do. He came down through the air shaft. If you're not Mr. Burns from Oregon, why do you call yourself that and not... What was the other name? Roby, John Roby. Oh, Mrs. Stevens. Oh, I know the whole story. You want to go straight, but the gang won't let you. Well, in this case, the gang is the law. Mother, don't talk to him. Don't touch anything. You're not going to cover up any clues. No, there aren't any clues to cover up. He came down the air shaft, took the stones, and went away the same way. You know how he got in here as well as I do. Did you find anything in my room? I certainly did. Nothing of your mother's. No, you gave those to your accomplice. But I did find that the clothes of Mr. Burns, the American, all had French labels in them. And I found this. A list of everyone on the Riviera with jewelry worth stealing. Listen to what it says about us. What good is that going to do you? You're already caught. I called the police from your room and told them who you are and what you did tonight. Everything? Oh, the boys must have enjoyed that down at headquarters. Mother, his name isn't Burns. He's a notorious jewel thief called the Cat. And what's he doing here now, Lamb? If he already has got the junk. Returning to the scene of his crime. Since when is love a crime? His name is Roby, and for my money, he's a real man. Not one of those milk sops you generally take up with. Mother, after all. After all, my foot. Why do you think we move so many times? Hmm? Your father was a swindler, dear, but a lovable one. You ask me, this one's a bigger operator on every level. Thank you, madame. Mother, this is why I've had to spend half my life traveling around the world after you. Keep men like this away from you. Well, after this, let me run my own interference. Looks like the blockers are having all the fun. Well, if she doesn't have any common sense, I do. Oh, shut up. They were my baubles that were stolen. If I don't care, why should you? They're insured. Now, the big question is, where do we go from here? To jail. Where is he? Who? John Roby. Never heard of him. 